Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Grayline Overland and we are doing our intro for this video after the fact because we saw this guy on the trail when me and my brother were scouting out a trail for a family ride and we just wanted to get in there and kind of get it done because we were all on our way and we just saw each other in passing. He's a really good the guy that's in this video is a really good guy. He's a he's in the army currently. He's active duty and everything and him and his family are doing what they can to really live a life of adventure outside of the army together you know he's still in the army but he wants to take his family on adventures and eventually i think he wants to lead tours and things like that real great guy check out his channel wayfinder overland and check him out on instagram really good guy trying to do really well for his family and uh and live a good life so check him out but we are looking at the smitty belt scout today the Smitty Belt Scout is a really great trailer for those budget-minded people who want to who want to experience the trailer and don't necessarily have the skills to fully build it themselves or something, but have some good mechanical skills that they can actually put it together. Because you can buy this trailer online for seven thousand dollars. That's pretty cheap when you're looking at a kit for a trailer. It's it is made in China. It's not made in America, which is the reason why we get that savings and the uh, and the, the cheaper price. But it has an awesome suspension system with a dual trailing arm system that has quite a quad shock system. So two shocks on each side with trailing arms and coil springs. It is really good. Has limiting straps. I mean, it's just very well built. It's the same type of suspension that they use on the high end turtleback trailers and the Patriot campers and the Opus trailers as well. So really high-end trailers are using this same style of suspension. I really would like to see more like teardrop manufacturers and things like that adopt this same type of suspension system because it definitely works with your vehicle a lot better. It moves with your vehicle a lot better. It's got, uh, you know, the, the ability to really flex out and ride a whole lot better than something like say your Timbrin or what's kind of the standard, which is kind of the standard right now in the uh, off-road trailer market. And whenever you're on those washboards, this suspension is gonna ride so much better. But at $7,000, you build it yourself, it really is a good value, and you get the satisfaction of putting it together yourself, but not actually having to weld everything together. So if you're slightly mechanically inclined, you can do this on your own. So let's check it out look it over and see what he's got and who knows maybe it's something that you want to do for yourself anyway here we go so the scout is actually a really well equipped trailer it comes with a parking brake and this big front box which he's using for his dual battery setup with power inverter so he can run 120 volt outlet which i believe he uses for his coffee maker in the generator box here, he has opted for not using a generator and actually having his water tank set up where he can actually take showers and use it for a sink or whatever he might use it for. On the back here, he has four Husky con uh, storage containers, which would be more than enough to store most anything that you would have. And it's on that slide out that Smitty Belt has, which is really awesome. I prefer the Milwaukee's because they actually lock into place but these Huskies are actually a very budget-friendly option. He is using the, Mil the Milwaukee pack out on the side there of the door, which is a really good place to store like spices and things like that. So that was a, I thought that was a really good use of his the door on the back of that Smitty Belt. He is with Wayfinder Overland, this and please really check awesome. him out because yeah, I think he's got some awesome content. Yeah, so you get so, two of them, and then and I they mean, lock in together, or they, they no, not not this not way. Not lock, the, uh, but they, the Milwaukee ones will. That's what I was these saying. ones will. Oh, okay, okay. So, Milwaukee just, ones are a little more expensive. Yeah, yeah. And then you can get two in the back, and that holds like extra fluids, ties, electrical stuff, and then just other random junk. Right. That so, is that is a really good setup, and so. Mike, be sure to get a video of all this because I like the way he has this set up yeah, <laughs> a lot. Um, and you got a little milk crate over there for. Like, yeah, was so that recovery gear? That's, or? Well, no, so the recovery I keep, I still undecided where I want my recovery. At first, I started with it on the trailer, mm -hmm. and then I got stuck one time, and I was like, 
tearing my trailer apart in the mud hole, and I was right. like, I hate this, mm-hmm. so never again. Uh, so we I have that same it, basin. I keep it in the Jeep, um, uh, mostly because uh, I'll always have the Jeep and may not always have the trailer. Uh, if I drop the trailer yeah. and I'm out exploring the area, right? Um, I don't want to be without my... Have you, have you ever got into a situation where you had a hard time getting this through? Because it is a small, much smaller trailer than like our beam and stuff like that or anything like a teardrop. If that will go through it, this will go through it. Yeah. So I know that if I got through it in the in the Jeep, then yeah. I'm not worried about this at all. Yeah. So. And it's extremely well built. It tows good too. It tows really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Um, I, I, I remember whenever we took ours on our uh, first trip, you know, our first overlanding trip, I was just really amazed when I got it off road at how well this thing did off road tracking not bouncing i mean our so the only maintenance point you have to do with it i found is right here Uh uh-huh these are your alignment lugs right and you have to make sure that if so i didn't realize it the first time that it's like thicker here and and yeah it's cambo and my first time i took it out my tires did that and i'm like why can't i figure out what's going on anyway you you had slipped i just had slipped was able to figure out like hey let's just get yeah. these so this is a point of inspection like before and after a trip okay hey these don't move those are the those um, are the cam bolts by yeah. the way um guys uh so he's saying that a point of inspection would be those cam bolts because that controls your alignment and i can see how because this is a trailing arm system and uh it show up show them the suspension there mike uh, a trailing arm system so it, that's pretty much where it mounts, and if it's and if it slips right there, it's going to kick you in or out uh, in the front or back. So that that right there is the most off-road centered suspension that you're going to find on a trailer, um, <laughs> no a trailing arm with a quad shock system. This is what Patriot Campers uses on their campers as well. It's, it's Patriot uses a much more expensive one, I'm sure, because they're Australians and they do everything yeah, expensive. They- <laughs> but uh, but uh, that's the same design system that they use on a Patriot camper, and uh, those those are some of the best trailers built on the market today. Um, you've got a full size spare right here, and uh, I'm telling you, the ground clearance on this. When I had a two and a half inch lift on my Jeep, the Smitty built had more ground clearance than my Jeep did. I have a four and a half inch lift now, so I don't think it does, but it's still. I mean, look under here, guys. And all the ground clearance that you got and there's no axle to get in your way in the rear you've got the trailing arm but it's on an angle on like a i love the skid a plate down half degree angle that it's on as it sits riding down the road and it makes for a really really good riding off-road trailer this is this trailer i just can't say enough about how awesome it is the other side had the has a generator uh compartment and then this what do you use this for this uh, uh we use it as a kitchen same same for me. is that just, what you do just okay the kitchen and like uh pantry kind of, kind of area yeah so awesome setup here i mean you, you really when you look at these mini belts don't uh, don't discount them at all because they are really high quality i mean you've got all kind of storage space in there here and it's all usable space because they use these tray systems so that you can actually use this stuff and get to it. I mean, that is a lot of room. What size refrigerator do you have here? 47. It's the 47. smallest one, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. could put a 70 on there. You or can, 75, yeah. Like an ARB 75? Yeah. Dual I, zone, no problem. And still have plenty of room for storage and things of that nature. This and this right here, uh, you know, a good any rooftop tent you want to put up here this thing is good and sturdy it's not going to have any issues with you up there or the weight of the tent or anything like that these things are built extremely well all kind of different places to secure stuff for like gear if you want to put axes on there high lift jack anything like oh, that yeah. yeah so guys we just wanted to take a quick look we didn't want to hold you up too much. <laughs> no, that's this, okay. And by the way, this is, tell me about your YouTube channel. I'm Devin, and I'm with uh, Wayfinder Overland, and me and my family, we go out exploring, and that's basically it. Yeah, so. Wayfinder Overland, guys, so check them out, and be sure to Thank subscribe you. to their channel. Sure thing. And uh, they're, they're trying to build their channel up just like we are, uh, so give them a shout out. Uh, check them out. If you see them on the trail, say hi. And uh, until next time, this is Kevin with Grayline Overland, and I hope to see you on the trail. Safe travels.